What up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, back in here with one more video. All right, guys, let's get active today. Uh, we got this video from Joe Button Network, okay? I know he has a podcast. I didn't know he had a whole network where apparently he has other people come through and lead their own podcast. There was an interesting conversation that came up in one of their podcast i am not familiar with the ladies that are speaking on this podcast i want to say that as a caveat as well before we get started and they're talking about video games and pooping on video games so we gotta get in and now i will say before i get this conversation started i am particularly biased regarding this subject because i am a gamer or at least i was a gamer earlier in my life i'm 35 years old right now and i remember back in the day the first one that i had was a used uh, Nintendo, okay? Then upgraded, got a used Sega Genesis. i never forget that. It was like for my ninth, eighth, ninth birthday. My, my pops got it out the bylines. It came, it was a system, and, and it was like six games that came with it for like $100 or something like that, right? <laughs> it was probably a little bit more than that, but I don't, I don't know. I was, I was a kid. Then I upgraded to PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. I got an Xbox later on in life. But then I got the Xbox 360, and then the last one that I had was the Xbox One. Just so that you guys all know, and then also in that time, I got into MMOs, EverQuest, uh, World of Warcraft, and a couple of other big names in between there as well. Now, I will say I haven't really been playing games like that over the past four to five to six years. But I am particularly biased, and I want to let you guys know that before we go into this review right here, because they... Stepping on something that's near and dear in my heart, but let's have a conversation about it. You understand what I'm saying? Without further ado, I mean to, but it just crossed my mind like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all grown ass men running around <laughs> losing your minds over a PlayStation 5? <laughs> a place, a, a fing, it's called a PlayStation. Y'all are not that serious about doing nothing else. Y'all haven't been that serious about nothing or committed to nothing else. I had a conversation. Listen, let me just start off and just say this um, before we get into this. Um, she's obviously pretty perturbed. I don't get why. But let me say this real quick. Gents, if you have to convince her why you have a particular hobby or why it is something that you want to do with a portion of your free time, she ain't the one. Because it will constantly be a battle. It will constantly be a battle of what you are doing with your time outside of spending it with her. Notice what she just said right here. Y'all have never been this serious about nothing ever before. Yada, yada, whatever, whatever. Okay. This is ridiculous to me. All right. This is what you call a red flag. This is someone that will never be happy unless you were completely up under her command. Right. But let's get it in it. Let's continue to talk about it. I believe she has more to say. Station my mother, like literally yesterday. And she's like, she, she I'm not on Facebook, so she always gives me the Facebook updates. And she's like, Oh, I I to see uh such and such you get you get the uh, uh play a play five what <laughs> play five what, a play five i don't know what it, but it i guess he re, i read in all the comments because i'm like what's a play five and everybody's like oh will you get that oh you the man Yo. oh you such a great dad oh like she's like going on till she could not grasp the concept of everybody going crazy on ps, PS5. I can't grasp Wait, have y'all have y'all dated men that were into video games ever? oh yeah yeah, but uh, but in my really? in my twenties, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Not if I think of the top ten best dicks I've ever had, they didn't play video games. So I'm convinced video games are for mediocre. Dicks. Well, I grew up as a gamer, so it was okay know. with it. That was that was I quite, just, a, I just quite all right with me. I got excited too. Really a grown man is spending that much time playing it's video so games. There's a lot of really, grown men spending a lot of time. And on I don't this think that there. A lot. I don't. I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover. No, as a grown I, man spending time playing video games. If you're like me and you're into gaming, I'll never forget when Ava. Just real quick, um, look at the disdain on her face. Look at the, the seething anger and the rage, okay? 
Look at it. What does she say? I can't understand why so many men spend time. No, okay. So what are men supposed to be doing with their free time? What are, what are men supposed to be doing with their time? You tell me. All right. Are they supposed to be working to provide for you? And if they're not doing that, then you don't get it. You don't understand them. It, is it like, like what else are they supposed to be doing? Is there certain hobbies that a man should be doing that you feel is that it's applicable to their manhood and their masculinity? Are you define? Are you trying to define it for them? Or are you just saying you just you just don't get it? You just don't understand. Let me fill you in on a couple of key things just to show you how ridiculous your argument is. I got some numbers for you. All right, guys, I'm on the website for the Entertainment Software Association. I'll leave a link down in the description box down below so you can look at these numbers uh, yourself. Uh, now, the study, the numbers that they're going to call from around 2018, 2019, and 2018 is a record-breaking year for the industry. Total video game sales exceeded $43 billion. In the U.S. alone, over 164 million adults play video games, and three-quarters of all Americans have at least one gamer in their household. Let's go there. We got some other stats over here. I'm not even going to go over those stats. Male and female gamers. 46% of gamers are female. 54% of gamers are male. Average age is 34 for women, 32 for male. Honestly, when I took a look at these numbers too, I was a little bit surprised it was almost even. And it's because of mobile games. Mobile games, you know, which is different than console games such as like a PS5 or Xbox Series X. Um, is different in the sense that it's on everyone's smartphone, so it's made it a, a lot more accessible. But this is actually even before games such as like Among Us, widespread mobile games that seem to be irrespective of gender, people are enjoying the, these types of games. But I show the numbers to just to show you how ridiculous of an assertion of how do they spend so much time in doing something that literally half the United States does. This is a multi, multi, multi billion dollar industry. So for you to downplay its significance to men is ridiculous. The, the new Grand Theft Auto drop with Nico Bellic and like that was my escape and that wow. was our bonding mm. time. We playing Grand wow. Theft Auto. Oh, you were shooting the prostitutes we, and then she shooting the prostitutes she was, she was and stuff getting all like the that. Points. We were getting the homeless people. She was all the homeless people. She was. In Broker, we was, we, was, we was fucking shit up in Broker City. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, between feeding, she's taking a nap. I'm, I'm on vice. Like, I'm, I'm, that's, that's my vice. That's yeah. Mm. No, I mean, I, how so, many hours would you spend on that though? Like, realistically. Four to six. Wow. A whole work a day? shift? Yeah. All right. Wow. It's a lot I'm of missions. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to her. I will say, though, though, she said that she's a gamer. You should know it's Grand Theft Auto 4, okay? You say Nico Bellic, that's Grand Theft Auto 4, mama, okay? Get your gamerness together. Sheesh. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want my man coming to me like... Man, you won't believe the weapons I got today. No, it's not even. It's not even. <sighs> and I don't want you coming to me with pants with rubber bands all over them. Ridiculous lady. Not even just that. It's not even just that. I'm, I'm going to speak directly to the failed athletes of America. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, here comes the shaming. Most of y'all are complete trash at 2K and Madden. And y'all y'all are dying. Y'all are y'all are literally spending what should be saved in your account because we don't know next time we get a stimulus check. Y'all are spending <laughs> y'all hard-earned stimulus money on a place on a console, a game console, and y'all and y'all are trash. Y'all suck at sports in real life and at the video game. I'm so baffled. They, by they're that. living their careers through the game, sis. Just watch your high school tapes. <laughs> Shout out to the young lady on the right. She's having a major problem with what uh, she's saying, and I think it's for a good purpose. I think it's for good reason. S listening to the way that she described, like, if you come across personality types like this, stay away. Stay far 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 away please for your own sake okay so here's another thing and you know i like to provide a degree of balance on this channel from time to time and i'm gonna do what she was unwilling to do which is to take the shaming tactics and the emasculation tactics out of it and agree with her to a degree which is 
if you're using your stimulus check, okay, to get a PS5, right? I think that you could be doing better things with your resources that are given to you, all right? The thing is, is you do have to consider a degree of balance with these video games. And listen, this is coming from someone who was a gamer. I don't play video games like that anymore just because my time is, I don't have time to really do it, okay? Now, in the Patreon game, we do go down there and play Among Us from time to time. But that's a whole nother story. Link down in the description box down below. But what I will say is, is that, guys, like, on this journey and path of life, it's all about balance, right? Being able to balance your time, your money adequately so you can make the, the correct decisions today to invest today so that your life is happier and more joyful into the future. Um, spending the last bits of your money, your stimulus check on a console when your life isn't officially together yet is not what you should be doing, okay? So I will say that. Let's move on. Yeah, problematic. Yes. That's problematic. Yes. Y'all gotta yes. do better. Y'all gotta do better. Hey, Shane, just, what's up? It's whack. I just, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Sorry, Shane, that's dumb. I'm you are let, so dumb. You are so real. dumb. I'm so glad I got an old man, because I feel like uh, when he was I growing up... Oh, I think it's hilarious. I, I don't think they had video games when he was growing up. Oh, so. no, you know, no, I mean, no, not, he's, he's not that old. Atari. He's, he's old. not that old. <laughs> Did he have Atari? I mean, he might have had a Sega Genesis, because Sega was fire. Don't forget well, Sega Genesis. Or, or the original like 94? Well, Sega originally came out maybe like the late 80s, but it, it popped off like Sega 92, Sega Genesis 94. was like 92, ni you know, like 92, I feel like he was out when Game Boys, actually went like around. He had Game Boys. Game Boys were cool. You know what I'm saying? Before he they definitely had Nintendo. Nintendo. Like, that's a given. I, I had who didn't Nintendo. Have, everybody had Nintendo. Everybody had Nintendo. 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 All right, all right. I, I'm, let me stop it right there. Um, what it seems is that... Um, is the general idea is as a child you can play video games but into your adulthood all of a sudden uh, one of the highest grossing forms of entertainment ever created all, all of a sudden to an adult man is just not something that he should do <laughs> which is the logic that you have to go through from time to time to break down these videos are completely insane it makes no goddamn sense you understand what i'm saying <laughs> it makes no sense it's like Oh, you used to watch movies as a kid? You're not supposed to watch movies as an adult. That makes no sense. What you mean? You've grown out of movies. <laughs> it's completely ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I've been going on too long into this reaction. There's about a minute and some odd change left. I'll leave a link to uh, the clip down in the description box down below. Uh, feel free to go out and check out more videos on the Joe Buttons Network. He has a ton of stuff over there. You understand what I'm saying? But there it is. That's your video. That's your reaction for today. Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. All right. Got an Instagram as well. This was sent to me on my Instagram. Send me more. Would wholeheartedly appreciate it. Link down in the description box down below. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.